Binge Watchers where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron and let's talk about season one of Broadchurch. Okay, so I will admit that when I first watched this show a few weeks ago, it was mainly because I wanted to see this past, present and future Doctor Who reunion. I mean, it's not really a reunion for all of them, but time travel. So, you know, David Tennant, David Bradley, Arthur Darville, Jodie Whittaker, Chris Chibnall, who's the new showrunner, Olivia Colman, who I don't know if she was actually in Doctor Who, but she was my pick for the next Doctor. That was my initial reasoning for checking this out. But obviously, this is a very different type of show. Broadchurch is a murder mystery, and it follows the investigation of the death of Danny Latimer, an 11-year-old boy in a small town in Dorset. Alec Hardy is the new detective inspector in charge of the investigation and the Broadchurch police station, a job that Detective Sergeant Ellie Miller thought she was supposed to get. Someone killed Danny, and this season is about Hardy and Miller trying to find out who, but it's also about how Danny's family is dealing with the loss, and to a certain extent, how the whole town is dealing with it. Broadchurch feels like a very intimate story. There are some side stories here, but all of them somehow connect back to this main arc about Danny's murder. That's the context for everything. If Hardy, for example, is having some trouble in his personal life, we see that through the lens of, is he the right man for this job? Is he the one who should be investigating this? This whole season is basically a game of Clue. We have a bunch of people, we assume one of them committed the murder and we need to figure out who, where, and how. And the detective part of this show, which is, you know, most of the show, was done beautifully in my opinion. I'm in there theorizing, coming up with my own ideas about who did it and why. You know everything that Miller and Hardy know, so there isn't some detail they pull on like episode 7 that magically helps them crack the case and you're like, well, I did not have that piece of information. Like you have your own board with like photos and red strings tying them together. David Tennant and Olivia Colman are both incredible. Olivia Colman, I loved her so much in The Night Manager and I loved her just the same in this. She has to be one of my favorite TV performers working today. She would have been a great doctor. Every single performance in this show is brilliant, but Olivia Colman and David Bradley, I am in love with them. Holy shit. It's breathtaking. David Bradley is one of those actors where it's like, yeah, he should just be in everything. Like Brian Cranston, just, just put him in everything. One of the best parts of this show is the relationship between Miller and Hardy. They're not friends. Miller feels Hardy stole her job, but she's responsible enough and she accepts that he's her boss now. And Hardy is one of those people who doesn't quite know how to be around other people. He's very good at his job, but he doesn't really pick up on social cues and nuances when it comes to his own personal interactions. So there are plenty of like little moments between Hardy and Miller that express that really well. Even if it's something as small as you see him making a cup of tea and she asks him, so you're only making one for yourself then and you can see by the look on his face that he doesn't really understand the problem this show is so good at telling you everything you need to know about the personality of a character through these real little moments and of course to quickly get it out of the way this show is beautiful the location is beautiful they shot it at west bay an actual town in dorset and it acts as such a great backdrop for the story, and I kinda wanna go to that beach now. This show had such an emotional impact on me. It's one of those shows that you watch and you actually feel a thing, like you feel something that mirrors what someone is going through on the show, you know? It's intense. That's one of the reasons I really like that it's 45 minutes per episode. The show is already really intense, and I wouldn't say it's slow, but it is heavy, so, Hour-long episodes would have really slowed down the whole thing, and also it's just eight episodes. By the finale, and I'm not going to get into exactly why, obviously, but my heart was racing. I was so into this show. So bottom line, should you watch it? Absolutely, watch this show with your face. This season is Binge Watchers certified awesome and I consider it essential viewing. It was so good. I'm already disappointed because I heard season two is not as great, 
but I'm gonna watch it anyway. Season 1 of Broadchurch has incredible performances, fantastic writing, it's intense, it's beautiful, it sucks you in, and I loved every second of it. What about you? Have you watched Season 1 of Broadchurch? What were your thoughts about it? And also let me know, what's your favorite one murder per season type of murder mystery show? If you're gonna be talking about spoilers, please use spoiler tags in your comments, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps out a lot, and you can find me on TV Time and on Twitter and Instagram. You can also join our Discord server where we chat about TV and it's a lot of fun. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.